Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into our updated ice drive review for 2024. We've reviewed ice drive before, but there have been plenty of updates since our last review. There are new features, plus there's been the introduction of lifetime plans. For those reasons, we think it's worth checking back in with the platform to see if it's still worth it in 2024. We've reviewed cloud storage over a decade, so we know a thing or two about these platforms. And stick around as I cover iStrive's features, usability, and productivity tools, plus its speed performance, privacy features, and pricing. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that bell icon for future updates. You know the drill. Thank you very much. Why should you care about iStrive? It's a relatively new player in the cloud storage game, but it's certainly making some waves. Let's find out if it can compete with the big names. First up, let's talk about features and usability. I've been using iStrive for a while now, and the design is one of its best aspects. It's super clean and modern, making it really easy to navigate. You don't need to be tech savvy to find your way around, which is a big plus if you don't have much experience with cloud storage service or just don't have a lot of time to get used to software. Everything is laid out logically, so you're not wasting time hunting for buttons or features and whether you're uploading files, sharing links, or tweaking settings, it's all very intuitive. One major plus is that there is no lagging or freezing or waiting. The interface feels smooth and responsive, which is something I really appreciate as it doesn't slow my workflow down at all. iStrive is available on pretty much every platform you can think of. Windows, macOS, Linux, iOS, and Android. This means you can access your files from anywhere, whether you're at your desk or on the go. I've tried the web version, desktop app, and mobile app, and they all offer a consistent, smooth experience. Now, let's talk about standout features. One thing I love about iStrive is its media playback functionality. If you store a lot of music or videos, you can play them directly from the cloud without needing to download them first. This is super handy and a feature that not all cloud storage services offer. Another cool feature is the way iStrive handles file previews. You can preview documents, images, and videos without opening them in another app. This makes it easy to quickly check a file without the hassle of downloading and opening it separately. It also supports a range of file types too, including obviously PDF and Adobe Illustrator. On the desktop, the standout feature is the virtual drive functionality available on Windows. This feature allows you to mount your cloud storage as a virtual drive on your computer. It works like an external hard drive, but without taking up any physical space on your computer. You can access your files directly from the cloud as if they were stored locally, which is super convenient for managing large amounts of data without clogging up your hard drive. Sadly, this feature is currently only available on Windows devices. So as a Mac OS user, I have to resort to an alternative like pCloud to access a similar feature for now at least. Now, for mobile users, there is a useful feature I like, and it's called Backup Wizard. Accessible right from the navigation drawer menu, the Android app. In the Android app, this wizard simplifies backing up your device. It allows users to scan for new files or resume interrupted backups hassle-free. Plus, it works independently from the camera auto upload feature, giving users the flexibility to choose what works best for them. When it comes to iStrive for mobile and tablet, one standout feature is the built-in document viewer. It allows users to seamlessly view all popular document and vector formats directly within the app, and iStrive ensures that users can access and review their files with ease. Now, let's hop onto productivity and collaboration. This is an area where iStrive offers some solid options, even if it doesn't have all the bells and whistles you might find with some other services we've reviewed here on the channel. First off, iStrive doesn't have native document editors or chat tools, and this means you won't find built-in tools for creating and editing documents like on Google Drive. There's no instant messaging either, like you'll find with Mega, for example. iStrive doesn't offer a ton of native apps. However, it does have some useful features that enhance productivity. 
For example, the built-in media player we mentioned earlier isn't just for fun. It allows you to preview audio and video files directly with an ice drive, which can be a big time saver if you're working with multimedia content. No need to download large files just to check if they're like the right version or if you want to make a quick edit, for example. Sharing files with ice drive is easy and secure. You can share files and folders with just a few clicks and you have control over how these are shared. There are some security features too for file sharing, which I will cover in more detail shortly. So make sure you stick around in this review. Speed is crucial, right? Nobody wants to wait around for files to upload or download, especially when you're in the middle of a project. That's why we put iStory through our in-house speed test to see how it stacks up. Our approach is simple but thorough. We test upload and download speeds using various file sizes, from small documents to large video files, and in total, we use a 5 gigabytes test folder. This gives us a clear picture of how a service performs under different conditions. How did iStrive do? Pretty well, actually. In our tests, iStrive's upload speeds were lightning fast with an average upload time of just 7 minutes and 15 seconds. And when it comes to download speeds, iStrive doesn't disappoint either. It managed to download our test folder in just 7 minutes and 6 seconds. You won't have any issues accessing your files quickly, whether you're uploading a big batch of photos or downloading a video for editing that's 500 gigabytes in size. One thing to note is that speed can vary depending on your location and internet connection. But overall, iStrive offers a reliable and fast service that won't leave you frustrated with long waiting times. If you're curious about how other cloud storage services perform in our speed test, be sure to check out our full article about the best and most uh, and fastest cloud storage services in the description box below. You'll like it. It has a lot of data and we dig into a lot of detail about all of these services. Security and privacy are very important when it comes to choosing a cloud storage service. And here at CloudWords, we prioritize data protection. While standard security features are pretty much the same across the board nowadays and are generally impenetrable, it's the additional in-house features that set cloud storage providers apart. And let's take a closer look at iStrive security features. In addition to the standard measures like strong encryption and secure data centers, iStrive offers some notable in-house features that add an extra layer of protection to your files. For starters, they provide password protection for shared links, allowing you to control who can access your files. You can also set expiry dates and download limits for shared links, giving you even more control over how your files are accessed. When it comes to logging in, iStrive offers authentication options. The platform supports two-factor authentication, adding a nice extra layer of security to your account. This means even if someone gets hold of your password, they won't be able to access your account without a second form of verification. iStrive also supports single sign-on, making it easy to manage access to your account across multiple devices and services while maintaining security. Privacy-wise, iStrive operates under UK privacy laws and adheres to GDPR, which is a strict set of privacy regulations in favor of the consumer. The company doesn't scan your files or share data with third parties without your consent. And most importantly, it offers zero knowledge encryption. This means that only you have access to the encryption keys, ensuring that iStrive can't access your files. Now, let's talk about pricing iStrive offers a free plan with 10 gigabytes of storage, which is great for light users. However, if you need a bit more storage space or some additional features, you might want to consider upgrading to one of their paid plans. The light plan, priced at around $3 per month when you pay $70 every two years, provides 100 gigabytes of storage. This plan is perfect for individuals or small businesses with, say, moderate storage requirements. And moving up the ladder, the pro plan, offers a substantial one terabyte of storage for around $5 per month when you pay $119 every two years. This plan is well suited for users who deal with larger files or extensive collections. And for those with even greater storage needs, the Pro 3 plan is the ultimate solution, offering a massive three terabyte of storage for around $9 per month when you pay $215 every two years. With this plan, you'll have more than enough space to securely store all your files in the cloud. Month-to-month -month plans and yearly plans are also available. However, you'll see the costs per month obviously increase when compared to the two-year plans. And in addition to their monthly and annual subscription plans, iStrive also provides the option for 
Drum roll, lifetime storage. The Life 500 plan requires a one-time payment of around $600 and gives you 512 gigabytes of storage. This plan is perfect for users who need a bit of storage space, but don't require a massive amount. And next up is the Life 2K plan, requires a one-time payment of over $950 and offers two terabytes of storage for life. This plan is ideal for users with larger collections of files and data-intensive projects. And finally, there is a Life 10K plan, and it requires a one-time payment of $2,400 and provides 10 terabyte of storage. This plan is designed for users with extensive storage needs, such as businesses or users with extensive multimedia libraries. Now, we have videos here about lifetime cloud storage in a channel, and we discuss the pros and cons, what happens if a provider goes bust, what happens with this, what happens with that. So I, I really get that you're concerned about lifetime options. I think for some users, this is the ideal choice because it's a set it and forget it solution. You simply pay a lump sum and you get access to your cloud storage for life. Obviously, when a service goes out of business, it will not offer you any storage anymore. So make sure you have a backup in place of your data and never put all your eggs in one basket. All lifetime plans come with added security of crypto client side encryption, ensuring that your files remain safe and secure for a lifetime. Also, iStrive often offers huge discounts on its lifetime plans, offering up to 50% off. So make sure to check our links in the description box for the most recent discounts on those lifetime plans. For a detailed breakdown of their plans and features, don't forget to check out also our article on iStrive's pricing guide. And you can find everything in comparisons and videos, and you can find it all in the description box below. So, what is the verdict? iStrive is a solid cloud storage option with a clean interface, good speed, strong security. It's definitely worth considering if you're looking for a reliable cloud storage solution. Perhaps it's not the best for productivity, but the app integrations do a good job of overcoming its native shortcomings. Overall, I don't think iStrive is a bad option at all, and its plus points certainly outweigh its drawbacks. But obviously, that's my opinion. Then there's also the lifetime options that not a lot of other cloud storage services offer. You could compare it with pCloud. We have an in-depth comparison of those two providers on the channel and on cloudwords.net. But have you tried it or do you prefer another service? Let us know in the comments below and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.